Yes guys and welcome to RG Handhelds once again. It's been a while but I'm back again. Uh, this time Ambonix released their new handheld as you can see here the RG405M. Uh, this one's uh, a pretty nice handheld. It's Android. Um, just looking at the specs quickly before we go ahead. Let's go ahead and take the specs from my website just here. You can see it's uh, got a four, four point in screen with that 640 by 480 IPS screen. Uh, it's got the Tiger 618 Cortex uh, processor and it's backed up with four gigabyte of uh, LPPD4. Um, you got a 128 gig uh, EMMC memory inside the actual unit. So that will handle uh, all your apps and emulators on there, uh, keeping the memory card, uh, the micro SD free for your games. And the battery is a 4500 uh, milliamp battery, you can see there. So that is just a quick lowdown on the specs, guys, before we go ahead and unbox this. Uh, I will be doing another video uh, for emulation shortly uh, after this. And this is the box, very nice slim line box. The usual branding of Ambronic, nice clean, um, you know, presentation of the box. Uh, very basic, just a picture of the device and four or five. So opening it up, I have actually opened it up already and installed the screen protector. Uh, but let's go ahead and unbox it. Just take it out and put it on the side. So in the box you're going to get the screen protector which I've already put on. Uh, there was a memory card in there, 128 gig, which I've put in there already. And you get the usual uh, Ambernic manuals. Won't bore you to death with these guys, but that's the actual manual there. So putting this aside, they did send me a cool little case uh, with the device, so we can check out how that fits in there as well. Let's get this unboxed, put these on the side. And as you can see, the first thing that strikes you with this device, um, which it did me, is the build quality. Uh, I think Ambernic are on another level uh, now, uh, as in terms to device and build quality. Um, they really have stepped up their game. I know Forks has done a video already and he's also mentioned it. I am mightily pressed with the quality of the device. As you can see, uh, you really have to have it in your hand in person to actually, um, you know, really appreciate the detail spent. Uh, I won't take the back cover off because Forks has already done it. Uh, he's taken the back cover off and he showed you the insides. And to be honest, the, the quality of the internals are amazing. Uh, even the detail on the buttons you can see here, beautiful detail, um, especially here on the home button right there, indented detail. And the start and select also you can see here. Analogs feel good, as the folks did mention, the analogs like switch analogs they feel good uh, and you can see the buttons here the raised about that much and they are very nice very nice to use uh, you can see I put the glass screen protector on there sitting very nicely on the screen there uh, just get out of this and I've set it up, I've gone ahead and set it up, um, I quickly wanted to talk through the actual, so you got the power button up here, the usual power button, your volumes up and down, USB, uh, DC and that's your light, your venting is here, you got your R1 and your L1 and L2 and R2 right here and they, they do feel nice, they don't feel really really clicky, they just feel good. Uh, pretty impressed with that. D-pad, usual Ambronic. D-pad is beautiful. Uh, and they've gone for the um, uh, analog at the top uh, and the analog at the bottom uh, layout for this, which is the usual layout. Um, but other devices like the K1, they do offer 
two analogs at the bottom and the d-pad up there as some people do actually like that uh, layout uh, very quickly before we go ahead uh, the case is quite nice guys just the usual case with the nice Ambernic logo um, just so I've done it fits in the case very nicely and zips up and it will protect your device very nice so that's a bonus thank you very much huge thanks to Wild Lee of course uh, who arranges these devices for me and Sunny Peng, uh, also, she also helps me a lot. Uh, thank you, guys. And uh, thank you, Maxu, for giving us, giving us these amazing devices. Um, hats off to you. You're amazing. Uh, your handhelds are out there. The best, the best that I have seen in quality-wise. And this one proves it. It absolutely proves it. I think you hit the nail on the head, Max. Um, amazing quality. Uh, just keep it up, mate. Keep it up. And we'd like to see, uh, you know, a step up in screen size, maybe, uh, next. And, um, you know, I do miss that Linux dual, dual booting uh, SD card, Max. Maybe we will get it later on down the line. Maybe not. Now, quickly going forward, I want to compare it to a couple of devices. Uh, so, first is the 280M, which I think, personally, myself, is a very similar to a 280M, as in aesthetics. Um, this, of course, has the dual SIM slot, but the quality on the 280M was beautiful. Uh, it still is beautiful. Um, uh, as you can see there quality is next to nothing again I mean it's not as big as uh, uh, the 4 of um, 5m but it it shares that same design and you know build quality uh, and then and then the other device uh, the recent device 353m you could compare that as well uh, is very similar uh, in specs um, you can see there and it does have the dual uh, card slot you can see here 353m uh, build quality next to nothing and it did have the dual slots I really do miss the dual slots guys uh, I know this sock the CPU they call it does not support Linux so hence they never put the uh, the dual slot uh, just a size comparison I want to give you guys also uh, just so you know the sizes before we go ahead uh, 405m there uh, 353m uh, 280m at the bottom you can see gradually getting bigger in size um, but yeah that's it quick uh, let's get on with the uh, the actual device itself so as you can see the screen is very nice I've gone ahead and customized it to my own liking um, and you can see there I've actually changed the DPI so I can get more on screen you can see I've got so many icons up there um, and then all your emulators and if you scroll up from the bottom it should bring up the screen there you go usual Android screen and they've gone ahead and installed everything under the Sun uh, I have done the firmware update also guys so I do recommend once you get it get that firmware updated um, you know just to uh, check it and it will tell you there you go Android version last successful update so I did uh, get that done um, prior to doing the review uh, and the main thing here is guys um, the interface here so if you click on uh, the retro game mode that will immediately go into their little UI that they're giving a lot on all the handhelds recently now uh, this special uh, user interface uh, is normally a one button click sometimes uh, on the side where it will bring up this uh, 
uh, interface and then under there you got you know games uh, PS2 uh, suppose we can quickly try a PS2 game what do we have here as we let's see what that is no game supported formats were found okay maybe that's not set up so let's try something else actually what I do want to show you guys and I did set it up uh, is some Nintendo Switch um, here we go so let's go ahead and just try some random games for Nintendo Switch let's see what we have here let's just try some random game uh, not all games run on the Switch emulator guys but uh, this is the latest version that I did download and got some games working um, and they run pretty good on the device put that volume up I've mapped the buttons as you can map them inside there you go runs perfect I'm pretty impressed with this switch em emulator to be honest not all games run but most games do run guys anyway let's move on to the next game and the next game is uh, just booting up Mummy D Master. Another Switch game here, guys. Reminds me of Metroid Prime. Hmm. That I don't think will run on here to be honest. You need a bit more powerful device. So that's that one. Going on to the next game guys. Let's try some Sonic. On the Switch. Sonic Mania. You guys all know this one. There you go. You can see it runs beautiful on here. I mainly will use this device for switch emulation. Just the simple 2D games, uh, you know, it's nice to play them on a device in such a small form factor. It's amazing, I think. I'm not really seeing anyone cover Switch uh, emulation on these devices. Going on to the next game, guys. Rogue League on the Switch. Very comfortable to hold the actual handheld as well. I'm pretty impressed. You know. So that is Rogue League, guys. Running nice on the Switch. Everything works perfectly. All the controls are mapped very nicely. Uh, let's go ahead and check out some of the system. So kicking it off with some uh, Dreamcast, uh, so Calibre. Namco. 
I know a lot of you will be wanting to play Dreamcast on this, so I'm just showing you very quickly what to expect for Dreamcast emulation. As you can see, it runs beautifully. Moving on to the next game. So, some uh, PSP uh, with Tekken 6. Oh, perfect. There you can see guys Tekken 6 on the PSP is running very nice. Uh, let's check out one more thing. Very quickly some MAME emulation uh, on the device. Uh, and the game in question is Afterburner. Looks amazing. All the controls work perfectly, no issue with controls, nice and smooth. Like I say, I really wish they did went for the Annex uh, Linux uh, way, but it's the sock that doesn't allow it to run Linux uh, as far well as I'm aware. So that is that guys, to exit you just simply uh, come out the game, um, go into the next game. And um, very quickly guys, F0X on the N64. Just to give you a guide of what you're looking at for performance on the N64. it's running very smooth indeed and quite sensitive maybe a bit too sensitive uh, that's a little gripe that I wanted to pick up with this device as well because uh, you can't give the device perfect scores all the time uh, you know it's a great device I love it but folks also noticed it as well and you can probably see in my gameplay is those control these analog sticks are way too sensitive uh, forks has already described the issue so maybe they'll bring out an update that will you know relax the sensitivity or give the user an option to relax the sensitivity a bit so you can adjust it to your own personal liking but I find them a little bit um, sensitive so that is that guys quickly exit out the game that is going to bring it to an end if I can get out of here there you go and then just exit back out and then to close down their emulator you simply click on that and it will come back into Android which I really like the way they've done that but I think you can map it to one of these buttons. I'm not sure how to do it, but I will find out. Uh, the device is also great, guys, for, um, uh, you know, browsing normal stuff. Uh, you know, you've got the Play Store on here. Uh, Forks has already mentioned. Uh, you can see perfectly there. you got the Play Store. I've gone ahead and updated it. But, I mean, even for things like checking your mail or, uh, you know, browsing the web i really find this nice uh i'm not joking um no but look at the 
you'll see what I mean by the sensitivity of the controller. It's quite sensitive. So I, you can use this for scrolling if it was a little bit sensitive. So I'll just use my finger like this. But yeah, amazing uh, for web browsing, guys. So you're going to have this in your pocket. I think of it as a phone as well when I'm out and about in my pocket. Uh, I forget about that it's actually a gaming handheld. It really does feel like uh, a, a, you've got a phone in your pocket as well. Um, you know, so you've got the best of both worlds. You have your gaming when you need it. Uh, and then your uh, uh, email. You even got YouTube. Um, you can see there, YouTube works perfectly fine. It's pretty cool. This is Candy Crush Saga. And the thing that I like about this is extremely smooth. Uh, because of that processor, it does the task that you give it pretty quickly, like YouTube or web browsing. Um, so pretty impressive, guys. Let me know what you think in the video. Let me know, uh, have you ordered one? Please, if you are going to order one, use my link that I uh, put in the video because it will help support uh, all our channels, RG Handhelds. Uh, it will help us support the website, the Discord, um, and the YouTube channel, um, and also developers, uh, and getting, um, you know, better levels of Discord. Uh, everything helps, guys, so really appreciate it. Uh, that was the case. I'm going to wrap it up here for now. That was the uh, retro game 405M and Burnick's latest handheld. Uh, a beautiful small portable Android handheld that is extremely fast and very, very uh, extremely brilliant in uh, build quality compared to previous models um, which I've shown you here, the 353M. Uh, and the 2 ATM, which I still like because of its portability, uh, but it has the build quality of the 405M, which I really liked. You can see there, you can compare them in size as well. That will wrap it up. I know um, there was a sale on, guys. Uh, sales over now. First 48 hours, you could get 10% off. So now it's going to be without that discount, but hey ho. Um, I would suggest highly rec recommended device is the uh, 405M Ambernix best yet uh, definitely their best device but uh, I still do like the 503 um, that they did as well so that's it guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button and we will see you soon